Well, good afternoon and welcome to Cleveland and Charlie Park as we get set for game one of a three-game weekend series here on ESPN+. Plus. Today, we'll fill you in on the rest of the weekend here in just a minute. Jordan Marks will take the hill. Has not walked anyone, struck out 17. First to pitch, breaking ball. That's right at the shortstop. Matthews backhands it, goes across the diamond and retires the side. Paderas down 6-3. He will face a lineup for upstate of Jason Matthews. Jeff Taylor and Devin Buckner to lead off. Matthews is the shortstop. Taylor in left. Buckner is the DH this afternoon. First three up for Upstate. The pitch from Duncan. Talk about jumping on pitches early. Matthews with a single. First pitch of the game. One pitch. Base hit. So these games are obviously huge as they go forward this year. There's a base to that. Is going to fall into the gap. And... It will be Matthews on his horse. It rolls to the fence, and that's going to score one. Matthews rounding third, headed for home. There'll be no throw at the plate. Rabin is out at third. I wonder if he's okay. He uh, he fell awkwardly. Next pitch, ground ball right back up the middle. Matthews had him played behind the bag and makes it an easy play. 6-3, one down. Will Harless, the batter. In your screen, there's the next pitch from Marks. Right at him. Two hops. Throws across. One, two, three. Go the Highlanders in the second. Bottom half. Rolls around next. It's for Marks. Ground ball right at Matthews. High hop right in his chest. Throws it across. And a nice pick by Gallagher at first. Matthews is uh, getting a workout at shortstop today. Yeah, these spray charts are, are spot on today. So everything's <laughs> hit right at something. There's not a lot of spray to it. It's all right at one guy. way out behind him, pushed over towards second base. So he's able to get a lead of first base as far as that yeah. first base was going to let him go. And it's ripped right at the center fielder, but he comes in at it. And a line out to center. Retires the side. In the dirt, throw down to second is there, and he got him. Maynard comes out firing, and they catch Bagneski stealing. Galati will be the batter as they bat in the eighth. Radford gets two more. All six of their runs are coming the last two innings. Head to the seventh inning stretch. Highlanders six, Spartans five. Base with two outs. Yeah. So probably try to drive this run here and pick up the lead. There it is. Base hit. Now McIntosh has to dart back to the bag, so that's not gonna he's not gonna be able to score on that. Runners on the corners. Matthews with a single. Yeah. And now there's two on with one out. And it's a runner set. Morgan set. The one two. Curveball slapped at Raven at third across the diamond. Will he get him in time? He does, and the Spartans are seven and oh. They leave, Radford leaves a man stranded in the ninth, and a hotly contested game goes the way of USC Upstate by a final score of seven to six. Your final line, Radford gets four in the sixth, two more in the seventh. They get six runs on 13 hits with no errors. Spartans get one in the first, one in the second. They sprinkle them out throughout the game. One in the sixth, excuse me, in the fifth, two in the sixth, and a single runs in the seventh and the eighth to pick up the win. Seven runs on 14 hits and no errors for USC Upstate. Once again, your final seven to six. We will not have...